Just like us humans, stars too are born, and stars too die, just that their deaths are magnificent cataclysmic cosmic events, unlike our deaths. Stars follow different life cycle paths depending on their mass. Stars having mass at least eight times the mass of our sun are classified as massive stars, and die in a stupendous blast called a supernova, when they reach their end stages. A supernova, simply put, is a super-powerful explosion of a star. It is the biggest explosion humans can ever see. Imagine a mass one million times the mass of the Earth collapsing in 15 seconds. That gives the scale of a supernova explosion. The result of this destruction is a neutron star or a black hole at the core, two of the most exotic objects in the universe. Supernovae are so bright, they can outshine their entire host galaxies for months on end. So let's take a look at the very first supernovae humankind ever saw, and cover some of the notable ones in recent times on the way. Welcome to Lab 360, it's time to explore. A star can exist for billions of years, but its supernova phase exists only for a few months. So the chance of seeing a supernova with the naked eye is roughly once in a lifetime. The naming convention of a supernova is as follows. The prefix is always SN, standing of course for supernova. The year of the discovery follows next, and then an alphabet from A to Z is suffixed depending on the order of discovery. For example, the first supernova to be discovered in 2003 will be named SN 2003A, the second one, SN 2003B, and so on. The first four observations of supernovae were naked eye observations. The brightest recorded supernova, SN 1006, was seen in 1006 AD by people in China, Japan, Iraq, Egypt, Italy and Switzerland. It was the first certain detection of a supernova. Egyptian astrologer Ali ibn Ridwan described the brightness of this star as being one-fourth the brightness of the moon. The next widely observed supernova was SN 1054, which produced the famed Crab Nebula we see today. Ancient Chinese records relating to the supernova of 1054 AD called it a guest star and described the supernova saying, the baleful star appeared, a full year has passed and until now its brilliance has not faded. It is recorded to have been four times as bright as Venus in the night sky, Venus being the brightest object in the sky after the sun and the moon. It is recorded to have been visible during the day for 23 days, and in the night sky for 653 days. The most recent naked eye observations of a supernova we have in our Milky Way are those of SN 1572 and SN 1604. Back in the 1500s, the Danish astronomer Tycho Brahe was known for his meticulous observations of the night sky from his observatory on the island of Venn, now a Swedish island. In 1572 AD, he noted the appearance of a new star in the sky, which we now know as Supernova SN 1572. He got his observations about the star published in a small book, translated from Latin to, concerning the new and previously unseen star, in 1573. SN 1572 is also referred to as Tycho's Nova in his honor. Next is SN 1604 which was visible to the naked eye for over a year in 1604 AD. This was the last supernova observed in our Milky Way. Many astronomers of that time noted the sudden appearance of this star in the night sky, but Johannes Kepler carried out detailed observations of it, and hence SN 1604 is also called Kepler's supernova in his honor. Galileo had also made observations about this particular supernova. Then we entered the telescope age. The entry of telescopes in the astronomical observation scene meant we could see farther and fainter supernovae, even the ones outside our Milky Way galaxy. 
The first telescopic observation of a supernova was of SN 1885A in the Andromeda Galaxy in 1885 AD. It was also the first observation of a supernova outside our Milky Way. Next SN 1895B was observed in the galaxy NGC 5253 in 1895 AD. After that, regular telescopic sightings of supernovae followed. Since 1933, when Fritz Zwicky, a Swiss astronomer, started a campaign for supernova search, at least 12 supernovae were observed in other galaxies every three years. The last supernova visible to the unaided eye happened in 1987 and was designated SN 1987A. It occurred in the Large Magellanic Cloud, which is a satellite galaxy of the Milky Way. Since 2000, professional and amateur astronomers have been finding several hundreds of supernovae each year, all in other galaxies. Telescopic observations of supernovae help in determining the accurate distances to their host galaxies. Among the notable supernova observations since the 2000s are SN 2010LT, which was discovered by a 10-year-old girl named Catherine Aurora Gray, making her the youngest person to discover a supernova. The most luminous supernova ever seen through a telescope is Assassin 15LH, also known as SN 2015L. It was 20 times brighter than the combined light emitted by the Milky Way galaxy. This supernova was obviously located outside our Milky Way. It was so bright, some astronomy groups also classify it as a hypernova. Scientific calculations say that at least three stars are expected to go supernova in our Milky Way in a span of 100 years. But we haven't observed a supernova in our galaxy since 1604. This points to the possibility that many supernovae happening in our galaxy are rendered invisible to us by the dust line between the interstellar space. The solution to that is to use neutrino telescopes, as neutrinos are released in enormous quantities in a supernova explosion and they can pass freely through the dust. We are now armed with many neutrino telescopes dotting the Earth, for example the Supernova Early Warning System, the SNUS, which is a network of neutrino detectors. It is therefore difficult for the next supernova in our galaxy to escape the eye of our modern astronomical telescopes. But it still sure feels strange that we see hundreds of supernovae in other galaxies every year, and haven't seen one in our own Milky Way since 1604. A supernova in our galaxy seems long overdue, and we can't wait for it. Share your thoughts in the comments section below. And be sure to subscribe to Lab360 for the latest revelations in space exploration. Hit the bell icon to stay updated, and let's continue to explore together.